and I started recording. Now I could see in chat. So three years since Sandeep, uh, let me open each and every. Now let's try to uh, discuss on this, which is feasible. What is the data model could be? Well, let's come with a point. Now this is just as an idea. So out of this, uh, Sandeep, what you have to do is, you have to um, eliminate, okay, let's get into one data model, we'll fix it, and then we'll do which one should be eliminated. So what is the end result of this uh, ER? Which something which may be useful and something not useful tables also would be here. Finally, we have to merge them into a single one and okay. make it easier. Okay. So, uh, Customers, policies, policy types, claims, it is. But generally, if you get a requirement in this way, you cannot delete anything, right? You'll just go ahead and create objects. No, and... we, we, we're not deleting it. We try to accommodate uh -huh. them into, let's right, say, right. policy types. Consolidate. Consolidate, yeah. So right. I understood that, but I'm just asking you if you get No, no, we can't delete. I can't delete. I'm saying that, you know, make it optimized with that. Or you can say consolidate or uh, merge which is not to be a separate table to like policy types. We know already policy behind policy types. Policy types and description, do we really require a separate table? You should think. If you have a separate description for every policy, then you can have this, no problem. Claim status, why we wanted to have a separate a claim status when you have address here. So this is a table which they are prepared in a simple SQL format. So those days, I mean, they don't have a, or in the legacy, still the SQL table, they don't have a pick list of concepts. So okay. in order to have a picklist type of concept, you need to have a separate table. They're called as type, status, all you need to have a separate table. Okay. So that's the reason they have, uh, see, for example, medical report, assessor reports. So these are document type activities. So mm -hmm. this type of uh, type, we can already have in our picklist sales so it has a picklist. You can have one or more value there. I mean, these guys have optimized. So this type of, we don't want a separate table. Okay, go to pick list, add as many values you want. So you go try to create a document, you choose a type, and then you go proceed to the next one. So separate entity like this is not required. Only that thing we're doing, we're not, we not building anything here. We're trying to make sure this has been fitting into some other table. Right. Okay, so, so what was your interesting things about these three uh, models which you've chosen? And um, so if you have chosen this, like, uh, are you sure that already we have complied with that one to one, one to many, one to many, these four ratings? Right. So, does it not satisfy that? <laughs> I'm asking you <laughs> because you are giving a demo about this diagram. I wanted to bring it up. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Oh, this also looks good farming, farms, livestock, livestock. This looks interesting. <clears throat> Farms. Farm is also good. Um, so if you have not worked on any of the insurance platforms, yes, you can choose this. If you already have an idea, so then this is, we can skip this out. Right. I'm thinking maybe we would go with insurance because uh, in real time, it would be healthy for you because there are mm. many companies who uh -huh. use a sales right? like insurance True. company, financial bad companies. So have you worked on any of the uh, insurance type related uh, stuff? No. Mm, okay, then this is good. So what I say is, if you have not worked on any insurance domain, this is absolutely new for you. So then it will be more interesting. So something which you already know, if you pick the same, uh, maybe you don't know the challenging part of this. No, I have not worked on it. So then pretty good. So then you can stick to the insurance and claims term type only. <clears throat> Okay, what about vehicle maintenance? 
Okay, uh, I'm con I have a confusion here. So how do you determine which has many to many and one to many? Okay, we are sure then. Okay. Because let's say if I take the claim headers object, I can say that it is connected to different objects, right? So is one too many or many too many? So that's what I'm seeing here. So um, a many to many relationship would be, for example, policies you think. So mm -hmm. you have one policy and you have a, a claims here. A policy can be, uh, you know, get registered with as many claims. Okay. According to this table, policy claims and claim status. If you see, there's a one to many because two tables are referring to the same address. Yeah. So that is one to, I mean, many to many relationship. Okay. So one, one to many is one customer can have as many policies. They only solve the problem. So we, we cannot it. save it from the, from the diagram here. Not get you. Um, come again. I know. So let's say if you take the customers to policies, it is uh, in customers object point of view, it is one, one to one. It is directly connected to policies, that's it. But if you take the policies object, it is connected to the one policy object is connected to three different objects. Customers. No, no, no come again. So one customer is having as many policies. So one customer, so many policies. That's the reason we say one to many here for customer to policies. Okay, right. Okay, now I understand. I, I was thinking maybe in, in terms of the diagram, diagram representation, maybe we'll determine. So the you see thing. the three lines, right? That represents many. Oh yeah, yeah, one too many, okay. Again, policy types can be, their one type could be associated to many policies. Okay, okay. okay. So, I if you see this customer policies and policy type itself becomes a policy there as a junction here. Okay. So when you have a one to many and one to many connected, so the policy becomes many to many because okay. the policies could be seen in the customer also and the policies could be seen in the types also. So the same record is referenced to two, two types, I mean, two places. So we say that guy become many to many because he references in many places. Yeah. But according to uh, our terminology types, we are merging into policies only. So then <laughs> the chance of getting many to many, there will be less. You're getting policies yeah. itself will have a pick list called as type right. description. Okay. Maybe uh, we can make the claim headers as the many to many because it is connected to claim status and uh, claim. Types. Now what I will do is um, in this case is customer policies and the claim headers. Now we wanted to register to a policy. Getting okay? so there is a number of policies which is available uh, in, a, in a bank you think. So we are trying to register against the policies. It doesn't mean that um, already a policy is there. Uh, so my name is added in there. Uh, I cannot create a policy for myself. Policies are already existing. I can't create them. Okay. Does it make sense to you? So let's say you are a new customer coming to us. So you're opting a product from us. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean that we are trying to create a product for you. Right, right. Already in existing products which you have, we, you are choosing one of them. So basically you are trying to register a policy. Mm -hmm. A policy which is existing, you are trying to enroll to a policy. Basically, we can say enroll, enroll to a policy. So, where I say policies would be list of policies would be there, and who are the people who enroll to the policy will have. And so that way, what I say is a policy and enroll policies we need to have. Customers are enrolling to a policy. That makes sense. Now, what do you want to become as a policy here? So, I would think a policy is all could be a products. And you are enrolling to the products. So how do you want? You want it to make completely custom? Uh, maybe both standard and custom. Mm -hmm. Because when I say products, so for each every products, let's say insurance, whatever you have, you can again, you have a price books for them, prices for them, and you're entering to certain policies. Uh, that way, 
you can have a even sale uh, offers can run under the respective policies of course if you take an annual sale your policies premium is little amount less amount you have to pay for a month but your end amount would be the same amount you would get for the future state so like that they can have offers on the policies also isn't it okay so uh, uh, that way i was thinking like to you know use the products there customers anyway you have account and um, every account uh, will have again this could be a business account and it could be a, a individual account individual account when i talk it is a person account so where they themselves become a contact and then themselves become an account if as a business customers then they are buying the bunch of policies for all their employees let's say if it's a google so google is trying to buy the policies for all their employees now all the employees would be again a contacts only uh, for a particular company all the contacts would be there as an employees and each and every contact are tied up to a respective products i think so that is also possible is it make sense to you yeah but you can take claims and claims states another stuff all to a custom object but make rigid of customers policies and um, whoever is enrolling to the policies you make a separate note of it enroll policy it would be a uh, what do you say a custom object that's the reason i'm saying if you are strict to this i would draw us you know simple thing to you yeah like basically guys if you have any other um, ideas if you have we can bring it up so then i can give a suggestion it's, it's not um, that is the final one you can also build on your own but i'll give a suggestion to you guys how this has to be built okay so what was my expectation is choose a data model prepare the ppt and ppt should should contain about the project relationship standard custom object of course um a relationship used in the project and should have all this i said key model diagram profile used in the applications so this will benefit you a many place look at this this is a final version which i made it so er diagram you got it why this app you have to tell me read the complexity i said 4 to 5 how this app would be used to the company or end users like for example here the target audience is the customers customers like who wanted to enroll for an insurance or want to buy out some insurance package claims they come to here they are the end users and the people all that is talking about that's fine so why this app you should use in order to use for the insurance development company they want to um do a sale on the policy sin some of it will benefit for the people so that is your keynote and complexity wise you think that okay we it would satisfy all this option uh, in it, that data model can can you show us like one to one relationship like you showed how what will be many to many one to many but how is one to one so claim stages something processing stages they is given as a look up self relationship okay so any self relationship will be one to one only because this particular guy can have only one record here associated and then we have to check whether this guy i mean claims processing stages does it requires the self relationship relationship that we check but i'm saying account to account it's one to one only it's not one to many account to parent account you say no i can have only right. one parent account okay account and then respective parent account is one to one but if they have an hierarchy we can't justify <laughs> so they can go on but however for each an account if you pick it up so they have only one parent account so there it becomes one to one mm. okay so what i was doing is So for this for this restaurant app, let me give an idea. Sorry, insurance app. Sandeep, there. Yeah. So customer, what I can think is you can have account. Again, like how we built um, business account. and then full by individual account 
or can this time you name it as a person account or no individual account person account i mean record type i'm saying okay yeah yeah record type i understand yeah business account is right okay okay that is fine sidely uh, what you can do is and do we need to um, can you specify the fields what are should be uh, displayed for business account for on for personal account or so for the business the account i mean what you, you can you can uh, decide on the account layout when you say business account you will be collecting more about the company's information like give me your company website or give me your how many number of employees you have give me the revenue take of those things is not required okay so or any company stuff related to this uh, you know in the layout you take it off for a person account we generalize saying that his email phone number fax or his address would all make sense to us but he doesn't have a separate website or revenues we can just fund to it okay so this is the two things which we want okay. and let's say actually if we say a customer we we can focus on those two these two things only so you you want me to use the existing standard account object for the customers right yeah yeah and can, yeah. and we can give as a label of the account right yeah you can change the name of the account okay okay so for you you would be very sure about okay customers would be two guys with either is an account or a no no person account or a individual account what about you okay. just choose on to this yeah and now the next point is um, so your policies okay here it is products here i say if it is a product it is very good for you to add it because every time when this guys comes we have to create an a lead and we have to create an opportunity that that's how we go in to do it we just don't go uh, customer go and tell for a policy first we have to send a price negotiation how much we are going to do it, and then we have to get the deal closed that's how this account would be regenerated the revenue however so who is the guy uh, the insurance app company let's say whatever you can give name the app of this insurance i'm saying simple and let's see stuff so lic is trying to create a products so you need to go to a products object and create as many lic products or whatever the insurance products okay any okay. any in the example insurance products now insurance products could be um you can keep a category also product family also like either it has become no it is part of the health insurance or is it talking to the critical illness okay or it is for the term insurance so you can have multiple products and you need to have a description about the policies okay a description of the policy so what ideally will have a policy will have a policy number so this these are the important things you need to have policy number we need to have and if it is something which is not there you can rename the product code as itself as a policy number or you can have your own custom field anything is fine okay because they are the unique numbers right the policy number they have okay. a 10 or 15 digit i don't know so that's a huge number but they have their unique number and then policy name so which is a product name and then mm -hmm. uh, description why the description is how the policy would work rules and regulations or you can set descriptions or uh, terms and conditions okay so you can put tnc terms and conditions so terms and conditions that way this product is there existing now we are trying to enroll to this policy we can have tens of products here so we are trying to enroll this to, to this product so that's how it should be now being a customer what i do is i try to enroll see it is not absolutely that always i go to a policies and i try to create new product against this customer it's not the case so now what i do is enroll policy so enroll policy so enroll enroll policy so in this what you want to do is it's a custom object enroll policy is a custom object for this particular account if it is if it is a business account you're going to tie up a contact here so two things you have to do it account 
basically customer and contact see in, in the person account only if you drag the uh, customer is more than enough in a business account what to do <laughs> uh, maybe while trying to enroll the policy also you can ask a question so that time if you are a business account guy or a personal account guy enrolling a policy so then yeah. based on this again we can map it okay for customer for a business account i will have a customer plus contact i would have given for the personal account only the contact i would have given what what is this customer and contact are there fields or look up if you are choosing enroll policy if you have a record type we are asking are you business guy or a personal account guy enrolling a policy while well, that time we only are asking in the enroll policy layout you can have if is if is in a business account okay. you are asking his business accounts been what he is company and is you know a bunch of uh, contacts would be there all their employees make sense business account let's okay. say google google is an account i agree account as a contacts contacts all are the employees so your ex no first two things i understood you those, those are customer objects and you want me to modify the fields and third one it is a stand custom object i'll create the custom object and uh, yeah i want i want record type okay and that record type as business account he okay. said enroll policy right to whom you are doing yeah. it you are doing yeah. for a business so business account or personal account you are asking now the moment you choose a person account the moment i choose a person account you are expecting um okay let's write this way because this should be elaborated for a business account uh, record type layout what you are adding is these two things are adding it this is basically look up look up to customer look up to contact in this okay. layout business account layout for the policies you are having see this is a record type you choosing chosen and the enroll policy will have a layout no two layouts will be creating is one layout for a business one layout for a person correct yeah in the mm -hmm. first layout you are adding look up to customer customer means what eventually is an account object and look up to contact so why we having two is this is google and this is the employee name employee address would be there in the person account we don't have a contact at all you think so only the customer was be more than enough no okay what are the fields for this one yeah i'm just saying so here example would be google you think an example directly here the customer would be let's say boss makes sense right here it, it treats as a business here it treats as an individual as a person so can't i'm a one this might be very basic question so since for in for this app we are creating customer object right which is account and we will have the record type as business account and person person account yeah. so for that we need to have different fields like we know we have to come up with the dummy fields like google or whatever co companies right hmm no no what i'm saying is well, let's say let's talk to our scenario where we have um open up open up open up with an application mcdonalds right so you see here so the moment is a new so here restaurant for a company itself we are having this you can have this approach also where you say insurance um, branches also you can have business customers also can have individual customers also can have there's no problem but i'm focusing on to this area is business customer and individual customer so ideally it will be a person or or a business let's say if i choose a business i choose next so these are the fields no already by existing they have okay. so they have website ticker symbol annual revenue of the company how many number of employees we have so this all talks about a uh, a business count from uh, information where i just give here as a google right okay okay yeah okay so this is a business guy now why we say is many a times 
you are working in a, in a company so you would not always go and buy your individual insurance so a company would be you know on behalf of you they will be buying out some insurance and then giving you respect to your pay or not the minimum coverage they would do it isn't it yeah that is from the company perspective they doing it like say for example accidental coverage or term insurance type if some employees know something happened so they would give from a company end though they pay minimal amount from their end but uh, they will help you they will come you know, for an employee like say 40 or 50 lakhs or 1 crore whatever so that amount is from the company only they doing it you are not paying anything for them it is their own responsibility so such companies also come forwards and they are, uh, they also offer insurance i'm saying so that okay. way such so company name would be google and let's see um all the contacts would be their employees i assume so let's say google it's a company you think here account name and the contacts are like maybe bos kalam all these are the employees you think okay, okay? so contacts i become that time my employees so each and every contact can be associate because contact is like individual persons right yeah so why i'm you know about to say the same thing is account contacts if we have so you tomorrow you can move to migrate to a community portal and the community portal they all can log in and then do the stuff why because they are following the hierarchy of account and contacts contacts from a contacts you can try to create a user if it is a community portal enabled from a contact you can create a user and the user if they have a, where they you know email id and everything they have via through this contact only they will have email id and they have created user for you think so you just go to your website of your company I you just give your email ID and they give a password and then you log in. By that time, you'll get to know what are the insurance that you have been opted for, what is the key things that you know, all that you'd see through. So always account and contact if it is there, it is good for you to have a community portal. So that is in case we require in future slide. But that model should be there present always. Only then you can take to the next level. If you don't have a contact or something, you have your own custom logic. But to you know adopt the community portal, there it is very difficult. If you don't follow this design, so tomorrow to get a community portal will be difficult. Why community portal? If you say yes, my employees can log in and check their own insurance, whatever they have opted for, how many claims they've done so far. True, right? Hello. Yeah. You got the point. Yes. Okay. So very simple. this is the my own company and my all employees having here so individually i know that which particular guy is enrolled to which policy i can go to a contact i can see his in his related list something let's say if i have a contact x y z here so in the contact if i go to related list i can get to know that which policy i have enrolled for this guy there would be a default enrollment where company gives you again on a self interest you also can take some other additional interest which is like say private interest to you private insurance you are opted from the company okay so that's the reason i was just saying business account so now this seems a business account the other ways which we are trying to do is let's say new individual customer or a person account you think so here i don't have any my company's information it's all about my information so while doing this you assume that this guy itself is a account and contact itself all will also have the same information basically this is one to one account and contact is one to one this won't be one to many you are say you are the own account you are itself the contact done getting yeah as a person you are itself an account you are itself the contact because you don't have you are not reporting to any company so to have this one to one to all this you no know, crazy stuff says says was is enabling a person account okay both are merged account and contact is merged so if you see account also will be the same name contact also will be the same name every time you create account a contact is also created for you same same information so that way so they are merged right so you not worry about okay what is my contact what is my account in that so that's the reason we say differentiate by business account and a person account now first by asking like what are the fields would be there in a customer if you see you can you, you can individually identify what are the fields can be part of the business account and a person account to not involve all the company fields into the person account 
that doesn't make sense because he's is an independent guy okay now well while, while trying to do a policy of course it's a product you can have all the product related fields these are the important fields which i which i require done now enroll policy is the another object which i i want this object to be custom object again while doing an enroll policy also you may be end up you know asking uh, this policy you are enrolling for a business customers or are you doing for a personal customers so this makes more precise because again layout wise i can easily make out if again if i say normally i have enroll policy everywhere you are capturing the customer everywhere you are capturing the contact so which i felt like okay if i have for a person account capture only this only go to the customer and capture the account that's more than enough what i feel so if still okay i don't want any of this flatly i will take for everyone flatly i will take for everyone as a customer and a contact still this also works in the customer you're going to give boss and in the contact also you choose a boss or here also it could be google we have someone xyz guys are you getting this either you can have a record tab like this to be more precise or if you don't have also is fine anyway it depends on what customer and contact you going to have now if you ask me what is this customer and contact if i say this is a look up field you going to create in the enroll policy these are fields because enroll policy you can't leave just like that blank it's a custom object which you are trying to create you need to make connection between this guy and a customer and this guy and again to a contact that's how i'll get to know okay to whom i'm enrolling this particular policy has any questions so here the parent is enrolled so we need to create a lookup field in enroll policy object for customer and contact right yeah yeah see why i'm not saying you uh, know exactly go create a lookup field like that because no one says that um, in real time who knows the customer will not know look up relationship master relationship that's the reason i not specifying if i specify this today to you hey go create look up to account this is more easy to you but this easiness will not come so this is assumption based on the assumption we should keep constructing in our mind but but this is very first time kant <laughs> no try to doubt it <laughs> now i'm saying it's a customer then it's an account object to contact go choose to contact so you will come back no so it's not like one point i say and then it's not going to end so you say that you have a question then you say ask me so just i mean you just to that mode <laughs> where you if i make easy it won't be like but, but this actually at least give me some kind of courage to start on it with this discussion i was like clueless where to start hmm. uh, we can, we can do the record type Oh, anything is fine. Okay. I was just saying an idea. So when you open the enroll object, you should be able to see, uh, and if you choose the person account as a record type, then you should be able to see the. Uh... Okay, I'll I'll just make this all the points. I need to have. I need to choose customer. I need to choose contact. I need to choose product. <laughs> basically i don't say product i choose say policy okay so it it is an uh, many to what do you, what do you call master detail for product because no no, no no only one guy he is entering into that particular policy as you being the customer you are choosing the uh, one it has to be and whenever you try to fill in the information the policy inf- policy field should be required right ha huh. policy okay. field no this is all a look up to each individual object customer contact object policy means what put to product you are doing it okay all these are look ups you are trying to create these many relationship look up relationship it's your wish you can have a master detail also so choose it wisely where you wanted to have master detail if i delete the customer his entire data should be vanished so then think about what what to be the uh, type that you need to keep it no more customer than what policy enroll who i we, we, we care about it okay okay yeah now it makes sense 
So customer contact policy. The policy is basically I'm saying product. Already I've referenced what it is. Customer yeah. means what it is. Policy means what it is. Now enroll policy. Again we're getting deeper into. Again this has a chain connection to back to customer and contact and policies. Okay. So let me put this also. When I say contact, so it means um, for account related contacts. So this helps for uh, who is that? This helps for business account, like choosing employees. Business account, I, I treat them as an employees. So who, what if I say this, who is this? They are all account related contacts. Okay, we're good here. So what I want here um, is of course, same thing I wanted to be choosing here also. Customer policy. And what else? This customer is trying to enroll to a policy. This customer is trying to enroll a policy. Mm. What are the fields, other fields you can have? Yeah, when I say a policy, you need to set duration. Policy duration. So is it you're giving for a five years plan, 10 years plan, 20 years plan. So we need to have duration. And then the premium amount, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you explain me about the contact again, contact object? Contact is, is the into the related list of, um, if I say this is an account, McDonald's, Alderabad, Cooker Police is an account. In the related, I see contacts, right? According to this design in the you know, restaurant app for Hyderabad Cooker Pali, how many people are coming in all are my contacts, all are my customers. So if I say Google and for Google, all of the employees would be under the contact object. So what would be in the Google if you see? Contacts, what do you see? You say employees information thing. So Mr. His name, his number to which Google company is working, his number and title. So title could be developer or whatever and uh, he's email ID, bird date. So basic information is only we're having here about a person. So, right, so for customer, um, okay. This is a customer contact for restaurant if you think. Again, he is a flat guy who comes in and then he just orders the stuff, right? So you could, he could have your own title or you may not want a title, who knows? Okay. Or if you're doing for a business customer, for again, for this particular employees, so we are supplying his wish, his meal. What is his you know, favorite meal? Every day we give his favorite meal to him. So it could be the contacts is basically I'm talking about an account is a company if you think a contacts are their employees. If you don't think that there's no account or contact exists then their personal account would eventually both are same. Because we can't divide in the CRM world. Um, we talk in, in the perspective of B2B, business to business. So when it is business to business, it was fine enough. But when it's business to consumer, so the consumer information, somehow I have to save it. Okay, merging these two guys, I can you know, get that um, design. Both are same. Are you getting that? Yeah. Mm, what else we require? Are you understood with the contact here? Yeah, I'll try and if I have any issues, we can discuss again. No, no, what, what is stopping there? If you know, what do you think about contacts? No, I'm confused with the relationship and the fields. Like where? Uh, so for a contact, if you open up a contact object, you'll be generally providing, let's say if I am, if I'm logging into the org and if I'm trying to create contact, right? Okay. I'll provide my details and uh, okay. Uh, and I have to be related to particular. So if I have enrolled for any policy, so that policy should be um, I should be under policies. 
I mean, account. Yeah. So we need to have a relationship for me, um, for me and uh, I mean for a contact and account. Exactly. So, so why are we choosing? Why are we choosing the contact and account? If you are a business account, I don't know who are you. Like, we you know from a contact, I can go find all the way to an account also. But I'm just saying, hey, to this Google account, this is the employee who is registering for this particular policy. That will be very easy, right? Hmm. In order to fill a form, you choose an account here. Okay, this account. Let's say this is an enroll policy uh, UI. Account okay. is chosen. Contact also you chosen, Mr. Boss. So this company, this guy, and this premium and this duration. Save it. Done. So that particular guy on this account who has been enrolled for the respective policy. Right. So it will be more precise now for a company and then uh, the respective employees also there in the track of information. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's proceed. Let's see. So all I want to do is check is saying that the contact is your uh, employees. I'm saying, if you, if you are a person, you yourself you are an employee, <laughs> both the same. You are reporting right. to someone or reporting to yourself is all the same. No? So it depends. Um, okay, now enroll policy. What I wanted. If you are choosing a business account, I want all these fields: customer, look up to customer, look up to contact, look up to policies, um, and duration and insurance premium. Insurance. Premium is required. Uh, duration premium required. We can't have this. Enroll date will have it. From an enroll date, from an en enroll date means let's say today or tomorrow. We can create a you no know, policies, but when actually is enrolling that date, we don't know. So what is this enroll date will have it? The moment we have enroll date. Uh, if you chosen, um, if you chosen duration as uh, five years, let's say this is a pick list. Duration is a five years or ten years, something that you give it. Whatever the company after, you know, as the insurance company, you have to give it. So minimum is one year, five year, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, like that. You will have a pick list value. So enroll date into the number of years, whatever you just calculate. So you should get me a maturity date. So at this date, it will be matured. Okay. And if you want to really calculate this insurance amount, how do you want it? You can have a formula to calculate all this stuff. Matured date would be a formula. So insurance premium for the first month, if you pay something like say 5,000. So after the five years, what is the minimum amount? So what is interest that you put it? All that you can do a calculate and then get the result here. This is a common thing. If you do want to have a real-time project scenario, you can get them. So insurance premium, let's say you're paying as an amount as 5,000 or $500, you see, for every month you're paying it. Now this, what is the percentage you're going to give it? Um, flat percentage. Flat percentage. So now you give it here as, let's say, you're going to give me every year and year 7% is fixed, I'm going to give for 7 years. Whatever the market fluctuation happens, I'll give a flat 7% across every year. Now, with this calculated, you say that uh, total maturity total maturity amount, what are you going to get it? So you do calculate on this interest and the duration. Based on all this, you calculate and then get the you no know, some value here. What is that? Insurance premium into a duration into flat, whatever the percentage that you calculate. So something there an amount of return for this. So that you are you know, adding to a maturity, total maturity amount, what you want to add. So, so maturity maturity is a formula field I will put here. Uh, formula field. Formula field. And total maturity is also a formula field. Uh, I think the others are fine. Um, one 
one small question. So this formula is for that particular duration, right? This yeah. five years, uh, we, so um, can we uh, make, I mean, uh, I don't know, it will be a silly mm. question. So this can be an automated, right? Like for example, if you give duration for seven years and the, this uh, maturity, uh, that formula, the value, the result of it will change, right? Yes, yes. So when, uh, yeah, so whenever you, you give that, it will automatically change or do we have to? No, that's a formula purpose, no? So okay. what is this maturity date? Maturity date is a formula field of what? Enroll date into five, I mean, enroll date is let's say today. From now, I'll calculate five years and I'll give a date here. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, how can we make this happen in the uh, Salesforce? Yeah, I, mean, I, will, I, will, I will teach you know this. This is all okay, the expectations. Okay, <laughs> okay expectation. sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, how can we make this possible there? Yeah. yeah. See, implementation okay. is yes, we can do it. We will get into that place. But before that, giving a thought about an application, what are the things an real application could be? Is an idea. We can have an idea. The same thing can be built on any application. It's not about the sales source. If you have an idea, so you can you can go get built in anywhere else. We're just bringing an idea here. Our insurance app would work. So these are the basic terms. These are the basic tables you need to have. So those we are matching with our sales scenario. So that will help us. Now, how to do create a formula field? Yes, how to do? Now go how to do a step by step. If you say you guys would create. Now to add some logic there. Okay, this field into this field. Some formulas and functions we have we have to use them. Like you do Excel sheet, right? So there also you would do a table of that particular column into the next column and duration, something you're going to give there. Yeah, Everywhere yeah. some logic would be there to you know, process yeah. this. So when I write a formula field, maturity date is a formula field of what? Start date, enroll date. From there, if you give a five years, then this is the date. When you change this change, again, in your premium amount into the five years and the plat percentage, your maturity amount would vary. Now, what if you say if it is 10 years, so your uh, maturity amount would vary, no? Because your year of years of investment is more. And along with that, interest is keep adding more. So your end results also would be more based on the maturity. Because your duration is 5, 10, keep changing. Of course, your amount also would be impacting. Isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. So any question, guys? Um, I mean, just like this is an application for uh, Sandeep. If you're all curious, you can also build on this. But ideally, everyone has to come up with their own idea. So we'll have a different, different projects and I was talking here. Okay. Arrest all the above fields. Be it you are a business guy or a person guy. So all we have to have these fields to be displayed there. Sure. Okay, so now policy and the end goal also we got to know what is the amount also we got to know and um, customer content also we got to know. Okay, later on the stage we can add few more things. For a, as an individual or a SNA person account, how many policies you have enrolled? So those all we'll have and how much amount you are invested also that we can get into the later stage. We can build the reports. Blah, blah, all we can do a lot of things. So we'll come to that later stage. Now, looking at his design, we will you know, find list things. The broad thing again is claims. Now, someone like a staff is approving it. So they are also talking at the other end. Who is the guy who is approving this? He verifies the document. He verifies the other things. All are success or are fine. Then he's trying to approve the stuff. Only then you get a claims. Now, we need to have a claims. So now claims are under whom? So claims is under the particular um, enrolled policy. Correct? To the which policy of enrolled for that only you can do a claim, right? I cannot go to any other uh, records and do a claim. Where you have enrolled to that particular policy only, you can have a claims, isn't it? 
which policy of enroll for that police only you can have a claims yes or no right now the claims you would see under the enroll policy so who is this guy parent will be here enroll policy look to enroll policy because in the enroll policy i will have who is the customer who is the contact which policy is enrolled and what date all i will get to know then each claims i'll keep creating against this guy that is enroll policy isn't it claims i can have as many because every claim will have a registered claim and that claim would be saying status of that whether it is because this is very specific to this particular policy when it's specific to particular policy i'll get to know who is the contact guy then claim 1 2 3 4 i can have as many policies you can have a restriction for the same policy type you cannot have it mm. policy we have already a policy product has a type which type very important policy number policy name we have policy type we required why is a policy type required because i don't know whether your healthcare or um, um so uh, you know sub couple of them is healthcare so we can put critical illness something like term insurance something like general insurance health insurance all that you can have it just google it out with the insurance type so you'll get a couple of them so in that health critical term so all that you can have so these are the policy type really important because i create a policy and name and description time and condition based on each and everything it will differ for term it will be deferred and um, for other relation stuff also it will be deferred so this is one way so what you can do is one more thing also we can get it here like active or not anyway the product will have active so this you can get what if this is inactive inactive products you cannot choose for the business account because inactive policies why this guy will go and enroll why we say it is inactive so that policy we are no more uh, we are trying to enroll for any other people so that we are trying to stop no more this policy is will be used by other people over existing users let them use it but i am not i am not going to proceed any new enrollments i'll not add to that particular policy because you felt that something is not working for that policy or not you are getting any amount so then we stop that uh, particular policy and we may start with the new other policies so i want to have active or not there's a feel there's a feel there's a feel 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 of five fields we have in the products getting for the same thing if you wanted to have uh, sandeep you can have opportunity and someone can negotiate like say big big companies like google they negotiate with them and then try to make the insurance premiums a little amount because out of the 1000 employees i don't know how many people would be claiming there a very you no know, rare percentage because um in a very rare case because if you say they the perfect and you now the company employees so they would not be so over the same in in very rare case it happens let's say they get into an accident or health insurance something went wrong with their body because much much of the people are like they you know they take themselves take care and then they do a lot of precautions like unless like a public if you do so we can't justify so majority of the company employees at least they will take some precautions for themselves very rare case that happens you know be not about the health issue however in a thousand employees the ratios would be very less people who claims it could be it says it could be so in that case these guys demands for them please you know make sure they know premium amount to be less and then we can do something in that way if you go some negotiation courts prices that all you can bring it up where while you are connecting with the products 
and then a personal customer can raise for an opportunity and which are the products is interested all that he can hand for all his employees so that particular products he can be using it too that also could be possible if in terms of sales you are getting in picture or a simply customers connecting directly to the man uh, for the sales guy you don't want to request any quote directly enroll with the policies it can happen also so we are dealing with the two types of things okay anyway claims look at to look to enroll policy in this enroll policy you'll get to know which particular customer has what done so now when you claim policy you'll get to know which particular policy here firstly and you can see the claim amount i think the couple of fields is already added here what is that claim claim name claim status description other details claim order claim type policy id name date of the claim settlement claim amount claim paid okay whatever hmm. so these are the fields you can create <clears throat> so in the claims so enroll policy i am getting it date of the claim date of the settlement um one second so this guy came and he enrolled and then he filled the form and went and so Okay, mm, I want to get the claim registers and claim. So register claims is the one which we say. So as being a customer, you are trying to enroll or register claim against this policy. So that time you're giving all the date of claim, date of claim, what else? So, Amount paid. Hmm. Okay, I'm on claim. Sorry, I'm on claimed. So other two fields, which is that amount claimed, amount paid, and date of settlement. This would be blank. So that field should be there, but that particular field would be blank. Date of claim, amount claimed, um, amount uh, claim, and date of claim, amount claimed. Now settlement date and the amount paid. So that should be filled blank. It should be a blank field. Or let's say read-only field for the user. Other two fields, you know, here. 
settlement date and amount paid this both the should feel should be read only read only at the ui level from a background we will try to update this now come to the claim process so claim process will be again um what this guy does so this guy uh, the moment the register claims fires or let's say they are creating it so claim process will start kick start and here it would associate to the staff to validate staff is basically user object he will try to assign or you will check on to this record whether this guy is in the authentic or the policy is all valid he'll check the documents so documents would be there in the related list so in the notes and attachments no the notes and attachments you would have uploaded the all um, necessary documents in the register claim while he is trying to register claim right so he will give date of claim policy amount and uh, notes and attachment you will submit all these scan copies of bills or whatever it is will submit uh, discharge summary everything now the moment this is done so we are checking staff is there he will check against this particular claim what it is happening and uh, he will also validate going against that it will validate but not from here he'll just go to this claims see so have a look up to register claims in the register claims only all these details we have no the staff user is the one who is validating all these records at that time he validates and then he if, i think for this staff who is who is dealing with this he has access to modify this value he has access to modify this value and you would say status set to be approved i can say um settlement date year also can have and approved amount so this value whatever is typing here it can be copied to this particular value settlement date and employee you know uh, amount paid in the status is saying approved not approved so far whatever it is so documents where it comes it comes to the notes and attachments claims where we have enroll to policy so these are the other fields we have in the claims was a separate object who is where to here it is linked to to register claims it is linked to this guy it is a child object now whenever we say approved amount so that value would be copied to this register claims to where to the settlement date on which particular date is approving and the amount which is about to pay so that amount is copied here so no one come and modify directly here he, whatever he is approving that amount only is copied here does it make sense so who is the staff user if you say this is the guy who approves could be manager whatever and he is the guy who is going to work on this particular claims any other questions you have on this i think we all matched here claim type may say claim type is doing it for me or if it is a company is all doing this stuff but if an insurance what type of a claim it is so of course we don't say that the claims and policies are totally different i can do whatever the claims i can do no our claims is very specific to which policy you have enrolled to only that claim you can do register if it is an health insurance only for health insurance you can do can register a claim you can't say xyz so we are more precise here for this particular policy we have this claims and the moment you register for a claim so process will be started automatically we will assign some user and uh, we say this link uh, this particular record has been registered uh, i mean it is referenced here to the lookup and the status would be at a very beginning it would be claim submitted here also you can have status here also you can have here also you can have why because whatever i change here it it will reflect here so claim submitted in progress 
in progress pending pending or holding country and uh, approved rejected there could be approved claims also we can reject now so claim submitted in progress pending sometimes we want a document to verify again we are asking few more information so it is in pending state so when they do all the submit documents again we try to reprogress and then do it if all this is a fake then we can reject them so whatever you are doing at the claims process you are trying to update the registered claims why because this is a person who is approving on he is working on some stuff so you can do on this so status is again read only status when i say it's a pick list so this is a complete er diagram for a model which is required now fields what are the fields is required in few cases we have discussed it what are the main fields required additionally we are while going on whatever the required things we can keep adding them but this is ideally important uh, a core data model for this object for this application so here they saying separate staff we have a user object so need not to worry about this they say claims document it is always associated to notes and attachments um, so we say claims process already that we have tied up to register claims i think majority we covered here claim stages we don't have a stage 1 stage 2 so simply we put a status so that will suffice here claims address so that is what it calls register claim that makes sense you know in term wise we are enrolling to this particular policy for this policy is registering a claim so any questions on the for your application Mm, no maybe i'll have more when i start working on it so just put the plot the data model and then um, you can have any questions you can get back to me sure uh one more thing can you just attach what uh, this uh, whatever information you did it in the drive yes so there's that... an email maybe yeah Can you have a docs, right? I think we have a document already that you have sent us. Anyway, I'll send out an email to you. Oh, this is the return. You want to do the room on dinner? I think it's more of a room. Yeah, boring. Can you take call? Yes, call, Mary. Daily entertainment in life, love. ఈ మమ్మీని వచ్చే తింటే మేము చేయమని ఇక్కడ బోర్ కొడితే నేను యూట్యూబ్ లో ఎస్ బోర్ కొడితే మన నమ్మంటున్నారు కదా నేను మమ్మీనే వచ్చి ఇక్కడ ఎంటర్‌టైన్ చేయమను అంట యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఆన్ మ్యూట్ సందీప్ ఓ సారీ ఓ ఇఫ్ యు నో తెలుగు దెన్ దెన్ యు కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఐ ఐ అండర్స్టాండ్ Just say it from this side. I did not understand the word. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's why I was like immediately <laughs> telling you to mute. Yeah. So, enroll policy is another um, table which I wanted. register claim is another one now based on this if you think uh, if you can draw a diagram and then send out it will be easy for us so match send the insurance up so i expect for everyone if you have the same way then it will be more discussion on to the what are the different projects that we doing it then it will be more interesting on different applications
Sandeep, Sandeep there? I think I got it. Yeah, I'm here. I think I got it. Okay, now you can uh, draw an AR diagram for the specific things what we have plotted here, and then you can send over. Because you okay. have to draw ER that that uh, is the one which I'm expecting. <laughs> Something. Look at this. This type of process flow also they draw sometimes. So when you really work on to the something like on on what case what you have inserted what is happening, like you can also have a, like a visual process diagrams also you can have it. Okay. So this is for um, something like. Okay, on customer you arrived, when you try to get a customer, then who is next? Let's see, what policy you will select? So then someone enrolls, what happens? If you register claims, what happens? If if the policy is not existing, what happens? So something like that, you can bigger plus flaws, you can draw it. But unless, first thing is ER diagram is very, very important for this. I know you already draw, I mean, this we have, and a lot of things optimized in this, uh, we have done it. <clears throat> See, they have a claim tape one, two, three. It's for the same claim. Getting? Now the same mm -hmm. thing what I'm trying to say is we are registering a claim every now, every now and then for the same policy. So what, whichever the enrolled policy only we can go and you know, make a claim. So for our design, we are more specific than this diagram would have. So here a couple of uh, Picklish Valley, they have made multiple uh, small, small boxes. So when you segregate and then consult it, this would be the very simple one we have. So in this, you're using custom standard, everything you're using it. So tomorrow you do what is like, maybe additionally, if you want to have a payments, a separate uh, a table we have. So using a payment object also, you can say, take this amount and then go to the respective uh, payment details and then pay it off. Salesforce, other payment stuff also they have. If you wish, you can, you can merge this also. There are so many payments related objects we have. Enter the card number, card details, what amount, what transaction, what payment. So that you can try up to the claims. To whichever the registry claim he has been processed, to that amount, to this to that particular account, he will be will be firing it out. And the what payment user object. Uh, you said staff is an user object, right? So if I create this object claims. It's just a lookup, it's just a lookup field. These are all fields, you know. Lookup field. I say staff or um, employee who is processing this insurance agents, sorry, insurance, who is owner of this company. So they have a lot of the employees, right? So they are, they are verifying the stuffs. As a user, for this, you need to have a profile. Let's say, um, claim approver, some profile you have it. So that guy is logging in. So he logs in, he goes, checks, what are the claims today we have? Someone is registered for a claim, it will come for auto approval, right? So they will come for this particular area where it is assigned to him. So he will get to know, okay, this is uh, my piece I should work on. And that way he just go and checks each and individual documents, verified for whatever, whatever the documents are attached. So he would do some research and then everything is fine, it's very good. But he will do a BG, background verification will do it. Post that everything happened. So he will, uh, now looking at the document, he will approve the minimum amount, what is, should be done from the uh, rules and regulation perspective. So the moment he says approved, so a few uh, field updates, we do it. Hey, go to this particular object and do this field updates. And what is the amount that has been claimed? We're going to pay for it. And then status also will up to say that hey, it is approved. It is approved here. If it is rejected here, it is rejected here. So that way also we can do it. Okay. So why you want to separate object to is we can, we, can have, we can have all this into the same object also. Uh, Ideally, we can have all this into the same object, but majority we can be having read only field also. It could be, but it makes more sense. Um, if you have a separate processing object and they all doing that stuff, we can copy here, or you can still accommodate all them into a, a register claims, where you can have all the fields to a register claims also. But this way, if, if a customer is trying to view, at, view at this, so you will not know who approved this, who, what happened, what the background is done. You will simply know, hey, I have submitted, I've got the amount, that's all I know. Who worked on this particular process that no one knows, right? But still, you can 
in order in order to remove a few things you can still get you don't want to claim process at all an object simply we have a staff object so that staff object no one would see status anyway it is there settlement amount you have approved amount you have all it will be blank only this guy who log in he has a permission to modify that amount and he will approve it even that we can do it i'm seeing so let's have a two object where whatever we change and then we are updating to this particular object that let's see because that we will understand how we are updating from one one object to another object on a field update so that will be more interesting yes of course we can have in the same object maybe when you wanted to do this way in your project scenarios then we can remember this doing the same object is pretty easy uh, you go simply update that guy came in on the same object he approved it he he changed the status and to approve it so that is all not the right way so let me submit for approval process and let it fire for the results okay right. yeah okay any other questions here no okay then so we'll meet tomorrow until so i think